y'all so everyone's doing the trend things that my ex did that i thought was normal and i know it's not tiktok but i'm gonna do it on youtube because you know i don't be on the talk like that so i've made a list because i need to talk y'all i'm going through it i mean i'm not even going through it like now i'm going through it and i think this is gonna help me realize how crazy he is things my ex did that i thought was normal call my brand hello fat child once I started including plus sizes, mind you, my brand's called Hello Black Child. I started calling it Hello Fat Child. Do coke at a party, randomly, I'm dancing with his friends, do coke at a party, looking around for him, he come out the bathroom, so I just did coke. I got mad, so he decided to confess his love to me that night, so I was Not give me presents for any occasions. Talk shit about girls' hair, makeup, and nails. And outfits. And only get smart with girls. And women. Move to the hood. From his rich family's house. He had a very nice room in his parents' house. And he decided to move to the trenches. I think that was cute and funny. He literally thought it was funny. And then started being on the Shade Room. Philly Scoop Hall. All the drama Philly pages all day. That's what he was doing in his bed all day. Look at the gangs. Look up like murders and stuff going on in Philly. Because he thought he was Philly I guess now. Because he moved to the trenches. Beg for sexual favors like two weeks ago I was in his car and he kept begging me to S his D. Over and over again, like begging me. Like, come on, just do it. Come on, just do it. Please, 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 just do it. Why can't you do it? Why can't you just do it? Why can't you just do it? Why can't you just do it? Have manic episodes, go through multiple personalities in like an hour, and then throw my luggage into the street. Then cry and then slam my leg into a door. Walk around with the gun for no reason. An unregistered gun. Unlicensed. Walk around with a gun and pull it out and think it was funny. Tell me he didn't have any money. So towards the end of the relationship, I would start buying some stuff and cooking for him. And then turns out that he really did have money but didn't want to spend it. So kept asking me to buy him stuff. Call me stupid and ugly during arguments. Ask me how the f*** did I graduate from college. Call my dad Bull. Bull said I talked to Bull. Call his mama <laughs> Screaming curse at his dad. For asking him why he picked his career choice. Ghost me for days after arguments. Tell me if I delete the Instagram picture of us, we're done. Because personally, what I do during arguments with men when I'm mad, I delete our pictures because I'm like, you're not about to be on my page. Like, what? No, you're not about to have that privilege. And he said, if I do that, we're done. Like, if I ever delete the picture, we're done no matter what. And I did. He didn't talk to me for like a week. Follow his ex a day after the breakup. And say it's my fault because I treated him so bad that he realized how bad he treated his ex and felt really bad for her. So he followed her and drove three hours to see her. Took me out because I asked about Valentine's Day. My neck still hurts and I have to go to the freaking doctors like ASAP. Drive my car but not put gas in it. We would drive two hours to vacations like the Poconos or to Baltimore or something. And it was every time to put gas in my car and he never offered to get give me gas money asked me to cook for him multiple times I've cooked for this man probably like at least 30 times then he turned around the other week and said I've never cooked for him live with his cheating best friend and his girlfriend why the fuck would you move in with your cheating best friend and his girlfriend bite me bite me bite me when he's mad bite me he bit me and took acid then said I owed him $50 because he couldn't find his acid that's only a couple. So what I'm about to do, y'all, we got a week ahead of us. I'm actually moving this week, which I'm so excited about. Look at my room. Well, I haven't done much packing in the room, so it kind of it kind of looks like I haven't really done much, but I have. I was up till five in the morning last night packing up my um, kitchen. It took me forever. Like the kitchen has so much shit because I was like literally indiv individually wrapping the cups and shit and the plates, and it took so much time. So actually. We def gotta go to Home Depot later to get some more bubble wrap because I use all of it on like plates and cups and shit. So what we're gonna do right now is go to the nail salon. I gotta get my nails soaked off because my friend Bree is doing my nails in the morning and she don't soak off nails. Bree. Bree. And then I'm gonna get my toes done because it's way past due. Let me show y'all my little, my little dogs. This is sick. And then these are my nails right now. I got them done like two weeks ago y'all and the gold is looking green to me. Like, do that look green or gold to y'all? Like, honest answer. Y'all, I will not be mad. Does that look green or gold to you? Like, it was cute in the moment, but I really, 
really am disgusted by these nails. Like, they're ugly as shit. But first, we're gonna get some food. I gotta figure out what I wanna eat, though. Because I have not eaten. Like, I haven't been eating because I've been, like, upset. But I'm slowly starting to get back. But, y'all, I went to the urgent care the other day because my neck... I really hate... Like, I'm going through this right now. But my neck has been really sore. It's hard for me to swallow because... Yeah, I went to urgent care and I was 130 y'all last year. I was 130 like around the beginning of my relationship and I stepped on the scale. Y'all, I'm 115. I'm 115. My thighs are so skinny. My stomach looks so unhealthy. Like my whole body is so my, my clothes are hanging off of me. Like I literally realized this like a couple weeks ago. I was like, oh my clothes, are my clothes like stretching? Like am I stretching them out? Like I'm confused. What's going on? And if come to find out, I lost 15 pounds in this relationship, y'all. I, like, my mom even said, she was like, your face looks, like, very small. And I was like, is it, look, does it look small? Yeah, does it look small? And I was like, no, it does not. But, yes, it does. So, I want Panera Bread. Let's go to Panera Bread. We're here. I have not been eating a lot lately, y'all, because when I'm, like, going through something, food is out the window. And I was literally just telling, okay, I need to stop. And remember that this nigga is not in my life no more. I was literally just telling somebody that when I go through shit, I wish I was a bench eater. Then I'm pretty sure a bench eater would look at me like I'm crazy. Like, oh no, you wish you wasn't a bench eater. But like when I'm not eating, I'm like, I wish that when I was sad, I ate more. Because like losing weight is not it. But I guess they're both bad. I guess not eating and eating way too much than you can like actually like take is not good either. So... I just wish I knew how to eat. Like, my one friend, Sade, she was telling me that she takes amphetamine, and amphetamine, something with an A and an M and a P. And she was like, drink this, and then, like, follow the directions. I think I might try that. Maybe they have it in Walmart. You know what? Let me look it up online, because we'll go after this, because I really need to gain my weight back, and... Because I was never this small. Like, I was never this small. <laughs> amphetamine. That's not the word. Let me look up weight gain syrup. Why it say weight as in I'll wait for you? Why is it like that? Weight gain syrup. A pediment. Okay. So they got this little deal where you can get pick two. So you get half of something like a half a salad and a half a sandwich. So I get this barbecue chicken sandwich, y'all. So fucking good. This half Caesar salad. But it don't come with chicken. I could have got chicken in it, but I didn't. And then some bread. And then I always get a ginger ale. The bread, y'all, is to die for. So I always get this every time I come here. It's so fucking good. I was gonna finish my food, but I lost my appetite because I started thinking about this stupid <laughs> Like, I'm literally in the middle of eating my Caesar salad. And I had a glimpse of this <laughs> And my stomach said no, not today. I can't believe I let this man make me not hungry. He probably out enjoying his time on dating apps. He was on a dating app. Okay. I feel bad for that girl. Who gonna really hurt her? Right, no funny shit. I just made it to my nail appointment, y'all. It is five o'clock and it is getting dark so fast. Like, y'all can't even see in the lighting. Like, I hate the time of the year where it just feels like when I wake up, a few hours after I wake up, it's already dark. And it's like, all right, the day over. But the day already over. Like, I just feel like when the lights go off, the day is over. Like, it's time to get in bed. I hate that. But my friend literally just came from this, um, this nail tech not even an hour ago. Look how good her nails were. So this is what she showed them. She just started coming here, too, because she had this one nail tech named Maria. And Maria moved. Maria dipped. So she started coming to this nail salon. Okay, look at the nails that she showed them. Showed them this, and then, but she was telling me that she already had um, square nails or like coffin nails. So she was going to just do coffin. Oh my God, why is not focusing? Instead of oval. But look, this is what she got. It looked good. Uh, I'm just hoping to do my feet right, y'all, because I'm very particular about my fetuses. Like, I need to get French, and I need them to add like those like 3D flowers with like rhinestones. I be doing the most on my feet. So I just hope they do it right and then I'm gonna soak off my nails cuz I got an appointment in the morning with my friend I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna get um stiletto or coffin tomorrow. I don't know like
y'all. So I came to Lowe's. And I'm here to get some more boxes for the move. I got 30 boxes the last time. Apparently, I looked up online and said six boxes per room is enough. But y'all, that was not enough. I got about five rooms. So five times six is 30. Yeah, 35, 30. Something like that. All I need is medium, no, large and small boxes. I have a lot of mediums. I'm gonna get about two, no, nah, I'm gonna get like five large boxes. so mad because moving is so much more expensive than I thought like why were boxes $200 last time the move is like $2,000 for the movers to come help me and then it's just so much I am gonna get my security deposit back though because that was expensive and they said if I didn't destroy anything I get it back and I didn't destroy nothing so I get all my money back and I'm gonna use that towards my deposit for my new apartment I'm excited like this week is gonna be crazy my friend about to come meet me at my house because he bought all my furniture y'all like no all the furniture in my room like the glass furniture i have like the mirrored furniture i'm so over that decor i'm so tired of mirrored shit and he bought it like i literally posted on instagram i was like who wants my i only posted my vanity and he was like i'll take it anything else i'm like you know what you can have my all my bedroom furniture so he bought it he gonna pick up the two night stands today and my mirror but he gonna come back another time for my vanity and my dresser so i gotta meet him in like an hour to give him the stuff but we need to get packing like i packed so much last night y'all i was up until five in the morning packing like it took me forever and I, I only packed the kitchen last night it took me like five hours to pack and i'm still not done in the kitchen but today i think i'm gonna start my bedroom well not start i did start but i'm gonna start trying to wrap it up because i got i don't want to be last minute with this shit i want to have everything done by wednesday i move friday in the morning the movers come at like 10 or like 9 so i want to be done by wednesday and just like chilling you know I gotta find someone to buy my bed though, because that's a good bed. I can't see myself just throwing it out. I'm gonna show y'all when I get back, and if anyone wants it, just DM me, or it's gonna be too late. Oh my god, I'm gonna just post on Instagram. And I also gotta sell this lamp. I gotta sell a lot of shit. I'm gonna just start posting random shit on Instagram. Like, who want it? Y'all, look at this absolute mess. Like, packing is no joke. Ew. Like, all this random shit like my dinner from last night ew this is the only room where it's like all right it's all packed like the movers gonna move that by themselves i just gotta pack this little tree they gonna get the couch i gotta get the wee my dad gonna dismount the tv not that all rhymes and then this is like a lot of the kitchen shit now for the bathroom let me walk over here um, it's mostly all done. Like, y'all see, like, the little decor that was on the wall. It's not there. It's missing because I took it down. Little, um, paintings I had going, going, going. Everything's mostly going in here, too. Like, this is just a little leftover shit. And then I'm going to have to throw out my cute-ass, um, shower curtain because this new apartment is glass. Like, you know how they be having, like, a little glass and shit. Um, let me show y'all my toes, first of all. Literally, no. Like, uh, ew. I literally showed her this picture, and I was like, I think there's acrylic on her toes. Because, like, I can't just get that shape. Like, that's, like, a very odd shape to have. So, it's obvious it's acrylic. And she's like, no, that's not acrylic. That's not tips. Like, that's her nails. Da -da -da. And, like, bro. This is why I, I kept saying, look at this picture, look at this picture. She looked at it and gave me this, like, yo. Would it be crazy if I went tomorrow to get my toes done somewhere else? I just can't walk, like, I don't feel cute. Like, when I get my little piggies done, I want to feel like, oh, yeah, like, my little feet, yeah, they eat. They're not eating, they're barking, and I don't like it. I'm about to heat up my little Chinese food from yesterday. I'm so mad I ate my shrimp roll. I mean, doves don't eat it, but... I want my shrimp roll. Like, whenever I have Chinese food, I need a shrimp roll. Like, not no spring roll, not no pizza roll, not no steak. Is that hair in my food? That better be from the General Souls, like some little chicken strand or something. I'm not playing. I still want one thing I'm going to eat my food. When I was getting my nails off today, y'all, um, this mother bit me. Like, my ex-boyfriend, he bit me really hard in my finger. 
and my fi my whole finger hurts. Like it's, it was all swollen up and everything, um, and red. But I got my nails taken off, and they found this bruise on my finger. Look, see, y'all can see it right here. When he was taking off my nails, I noticed it, and I thought it was like a um water damage. And I'm like, did water get under my nail? He was like. No, all the damage be green. This is like a bruise or something. He's like, this is like, you were like, what happened? I was like, ah, uh, nothing. Oh my God. This is just so traumatic. Like, and it's not normal. The thing is, it's not normal. This is not normal behavior. This animalistic behavior directed towards me from somebody who like, I just still can't believe this shit, bro. Like, y'all saw my wisdom tooth vlog, right? And how nice he was acting. Then y'all saw my last vlog and how nasty he was acting to me. Um, while he was packaging my orders and shit, and I included it on purpose because I'm like, why is he being so nasty to me? That same night, he choked me. The next night after that, he told me he cheated on me and was throwing me around and was biting me and shit. Like, people can just switch up so fast, and like, it's so scary being in a relationship like that only because you be you be so hung up on like the good side of them. Like, you'll look at them and be like, yo, he's an animal, literally, and also he can be the sweetest person in the world. And you'll just ignore the animalistic side and be like, but he's also so sweet. He, but he's so sweet, but he's so sweet. But it's like, you shouldn't be having to, like, outweigh the good and bad like that. That bad. Like, it's different if someone's, like, get to your nerves sometimes, then y'all be cool. No. It's like, like, literally black and white with him. Like, it would be like, he hated me. He wanted to kill me. He even had said, like, I wanted to kill you. Or he would say, I want to marry you. I want you to have my kids. Like, I love you. The best woman I ever met. Like, you make my life so much better. Like, it was either, like, black or white. It was never, like... Oh, he could be mad. He was upset with me and then wouldn't talk to me for an hour or two and come back and be like, we can talk about it. No, it was either ghost me, hate me, want to kill me, or love me, text me all day, call me all day, tell me he loved me, tell me he want to have kids with me, tell me he want to marry me, he want to go on vacation, he want to do this, that, and the third. Like, so it was kind of like the highs and lows made it so like I got, I became addicted to the relationship. Like, my hand's still on the microwave, but like, it's kind of comfortable. But like, I became addicted to that relationship because like, it gave me some type of high, like, not having him and being super depressed. And him coming back, I'm like, oh, my God, my life is finally better. Like, it was just, like, I became addicted to that. And so, that's why, like, it was hard for me to leave or whatever. But, like, I can't accept that behavior. I can't accept someone putting their hands on me. I can't accept somebody going ballistic like that on me. Like, that, that I just, I just still can't believe this shit. I can't tell y'all too much about that night, like exactly word for word. Well, not really word for word, but you know, incident for incident, because like I can't right now. I don't really plan on making a story time. I'm being more broad about shit, like oh he bit me, you know he choked me, but like I'm not gonna tell y'all exactly what happened, only because um I can't, um and I just don't want to. Also, it was dramatic, and I feel like I haven't really fully like thought about it like, like i was still literally over here like but he's my best friend but he's my best friend like what type of best friend would do some shit like that like i literally it took me like a whole week to realize that man did not like me that man did not love me he hated me and he told me that before and like for a whole week i was in my bed crying like i miss him i want to talk to him i want to text him so bad i want him to call me i want to call him but then like a few days later a few days ago i woke up like yo he was really horrible. Like, no, he was really a bad person. Really a bad person. I'm like, I don't know. Like, it took me a, like a whole week to realize that after being attacked. Like, and y'all know I'm a nice person. Y'all know I try my best to make people happy. I'm really sweet. I'm a sweetheart. Like, everyone even say it. And I just said to him, like, I'm a nice person. I'm sweet. I don't understand why you treat me like this. He would all be like, you're not sweet. There's nothing sweet about you. You're evil. You're horrible. You're horrible. Like, and I'm not. I'm really not. I was always so sweet to that man. Like, always so giving, caring, all that loving. And I'm just like, yo, enough? Like, you're all, sometimes this isn't enough for people. But, like, nothing would be enough for him. Like, I did everything for that man. Everything, y'all. Like, this is sick, but let me eat my food. I'm about to um go watch my little sex in the city. Oh my god. My four best friends, Charlotte, Samantha, Carrie, and what's the what's the one that we don't like that much? I mean, y'all never told me y'all didn't like her, but we don't like her that much. Like, 
Oh my god, Miranda, like, she is like, she just be blowing me up. Like, she be getting my damn nerves. But, I'm gonna go watch that. I don't think y'all understand how much I want to marry Vinny Hacker, y'all. Like, that man be on my mind. Like, you on my mind, you on my mind. That man is too fine. Like, I just, I've personally never seen nobody with two legs, two arms, two eyes, two feet, two hands looking like that ever like i don't know like but it's like what like what about him make him look so different than the next boo like that's what i'm saying like people like okay this is my question y'all like i'm not high i'm not drunk i swear to god i just really be thinking about shit like this there's only so many ways you can jumble up a face to make it look different than someone else so it's like what about him look different than the next boy walking on the street like his nose a little higher his, his eyes a little together like there is no way I've never seen no one that looks like this man in my life. Like, what about him make him different than the bulls at school or the bulls walking on the, walking on the street or the bulls at the party? Like, how is he so different? Like, and how how did God, I don't even believe in God, but how did, well, we just to God. How did God even, like, create so many different looking people? Like, how many jumble ups can you do? Like, how can you keep randomizing shit so that people look different? Like, but like he looks so different, bro. And like it's just like the way he carried himself. I have found a new obsession. But I'm currently in bed. I was packing more. Look y'all. It's literally nothing in this room. I'm currently waiting on I'm actually waiting on this guy to this Instacart guy. Did he just say the store's closed? You know what? I'm about to like have a panic attack. I swear to god I am. This whole time I've been waiting on my Instagram order. I ordered it at 9 o'clock. And I ordered makeup wipes because I have no makeup wipes. I ordered a juice. No, a soda. And some chips. And this man took his sweet ass time and going to text me talking about some clothes, unfortunately. Maybe because you took your sweet ass time. Yo. This is the shit I be fucking talking about. Like, it's just like nothing could ever go right. I feel so gross because a part of that Instacart order, y'all, was makeup wipes. And I have literally no type makeup remover. I have a whole face full of makeup. So I have to wash my face off with my face wash. Like, I have to wipe my makeup. I have to wash my makeup off with the face wash. And that's so disgusting. Let me take my. Ow! Ooh, child. I know I keep talking about him, but it's mostly because, like, it helps. Because <laughs> I don't have a therapist right now. And, like, I don't want to keep talking to my friends about him. But I remember I stopped saying woo, child. Like, I literally stopped saying that because I remember one time I was talking to him. And I was like, "Who child?" And he was like, "Don't call me that. Don't call me that." I was like, "I said it twice in one, like in one, like conversation." And he was like, "What did you just call me?" I said, "Uh, what's me?" He was like, "Child, like what? Don't call me that." And I was like, "It's not really. I was calling you that. It's just an expression." And he was like, "I don't care." Hold on. He was like, "I don't care. Don't call me that." So ever since then, like I haven't said that. So saying that just now, like brought back that memory, like of him, like going literally crazy. Like I would have to literally always watch what I said around him, which sounds so crazy because like, that's my boyfriend. That was my boyfriend, but like he would judge me so hard off the stuff I was saying. Like would just like look at me crazy if I said something that he didn't like, or like he would be like. I always make me feel really insecure when I talk and like I was just telling my friend I was like yo I feel like he made me have a speech impediment like if you look at my videos and even in person I started stuttering like I mean I started editing, like cutting a lot in my videos because I would like stutter a lot and it started when I met him like when we started dating I just started stuttering a lot because like because I think like I was overthinking everything I said with him since he was always so judgmental but I would literally overthink everything like I remember last two weeks ago or whatever whenever we woke up it was that week me and him were on the phone and i was like to him what did i say to him he said how everybody when he was in middle school was ugly like he was talking about like oh all the kids in my middle school was ugly i feel like that's the time everyone's life where everyone was ugly 
And me personally, I didn't think I was ugly in middle school and I didn't think the other kids were ugly either. So I was like to him, well, I wasn't ugly and I didn't think the other kids were ugly. I thought they were cute. Like all the kids were so cute. And he was like, what? And I was like, I thought all the kids were so cute in middle school. Like they were cute, they weren't ugly to me. And he was like, you do know we're talking about children, right? And I was like, huh? And he was like, kind of weird that you're sitting here at age 22 telling me how cute you think middle schoolers are. And I was like, what? And like, I just like got really quiet and he was like, kept asking me what was wrong. Then he just like changed the subject and started talking about something else that he cared about. And like, it was hard for me to like give a fuck because it was like, you just basically trying to tell me that I think kids, like, I, like trying to tell me that I look at kids weird or something. And I was like, I was just sitting there, like, I started like, crying. And like, I didn't like tell him I was crying, but I'm pretty sure he knew. He was like, what's wrong, what's wrong? I was like, nothing, nothing wrong. And then, Mm -hmm. I was just like, I'm really tired, I'm gonna go to sleep. And he was like, he texted me like, oh, I love you, hope you're okay, whatever. He knew exactly what he did, and he would always do that to me. Like, he would like say real weird stuff to me, and make me feel bad about myself, and then tell me he loved me after to like, I guess, make up for what he did. But it's just like, why would you even say something like that, like, to me? And I told my friends, and they were like, uh-uh, like, I'm not feeling it at all. They were like, that's very odd of him to say something like that. And they, he was like, why? And they were like, why would he even think that way? You know what I'm saying? Like, all I said was the kids in my class were ugly. They were so cute. And like, I just feel like I'm over. I'm always overthinking like what I do and what I say, how I say it. I be stuttering. I, I don't be confident when I speak a lot. And like, I think it's because of what happened in this relationship. Just like always feeling like. I was just saying anything out of my mouth. Like, I sounded dumb. I felt like I sounded dumb all the time. He always made me feel like I was dumb. So, the theory. Your breath is starting to stink. He's starting to get older or something because his breath stinks. His breath never stinks. Theory. But this, I know this vlog. This vlog is definitely going to be like a venting once in a blue moon once in a while i'm gonna vent so cause i'm going through a breakup right now i can't just act like i'm not you know i'm gonna tell y'all what i gotta tell y'all but i'm gonna keep packing i'm gonna start packing more clothes i'm gonna pick out four outfits for this week because today is tuesday today's monday i move on friday i want to pack all my clothes up i pack like literally like 75 percent of all my clothes look at this but i'm gonna pick out four outfits for the next four days so i can have shit out that i'm gonna wear but then start packing up the rest. I'm gonna pick up my outfits right now. Figure out what I'm gonna wear. All right, y'all. So I planned out my outfits for the next five days. I only got one pair of shoes to wear. Where they at? Them little Tasmania Uggs. So I tried to pick shit that matched with that. Like, I feel like brown go with this. Brown go with that. Brown, that don't really go with this. Wait. No, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, you know what? We're not talking about that right now. But I'm gonna keep packing. It's one o'clock. I gotta be up by seven tomorrow. And I gotta be up by six. Okay, cause maybe I can go to sleep. No, I'm going to do some more packing and then I'm going to go to sleep. But I'm watching Sex in the City, y'all. Every time I go through like some type of like breakup or something, I stay on one, Sex in the City, and two, Insecure Issa Rae. Yeah. Them is my, them is my two comfort shows, AJ and the Virgin. I'm still not over this. I'm still not. Let me just go ahead and put my sock back on, y'all. But it is currently 10 a.m., y'all. I went to sleep at, like, 5. And then my I woke up at 6 because my appointment was originally at 9. And I wanted to go pack orders at the warehouse and shit and, like, get shit together for my business. But I ended up sleeping in a little bit because I'm like, I don't got time for that. Like, literally, I had one hour of sleep and that wasn't enough. Still, this isn't enough. I only had, like, three hours of sleep now. But better than one. So, what I'm going to do is go... Get my nails done. So my friend Bree, she does like my favorite nails. She always does like special occasion nails, but I booked her because I'm like, this is a special occasion. Like I'm, you know, trying to feel better. I mean, nails won't really make you feel better, but it make you feel cute. You know what I'm saying? So I like to go to her for like shit like that. And she's so good. Like I'm gonna show you some of her nails, y'all. So she did these nails. These are my back to school nails, y'all. And then she did these nails. Um, I think this was last Valentine's Day. But, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get stiletto or square yet. I'm thinking stiletto, but not too long, like, right in the middle. I'm going to do that, and then we're going to go to the warehouse and do some orders, and then 
we gonna play it by ear. But first, I want my little pancakes. It is 10 o'clock. McDonald's stops serving breakfast at uh, 11, so I got time to get my little breakfast. So come on. I just wish they had good bacon and like good sides. Like I love their pancakes. Like, their hotcakes are so good. But I'm just, I just wish they had like bacon. And their sauces is art. Like it's not like all that. It's art. But like I wish they had some good bacon or like some good eggs. Like nah, it's just pancakes. Like so disappointing. But that should be good. Can I have an order of hotcakes um, and then a medium orange juice? Medium orange juice? Mm-hmm. Anything else? That's it. Okay. It's cold as fuck. Oh my god, this weather is so wishy-washy. Like, some days it's freezing. Like, y'all, it was less than 10 degrees. No, I'm lying. It was like 20 degrees the other day when it's been like a calm 40, 50 every day, but it'll drop to like 20. It's so cold. I don't know whether to wear my big-ass jacket or my little-ass jacket. Shit like that makes my skin like dry and shit because like my skin don't know what to do. Be oily or be dry because you don't know if it's going to be cold or warm. But I'm just sad because this winter I haven't had like a real good winter jacket. Like this jacket was from um, PLT and it's not warm at all. Like it don't really do much. But I always chalk it up to I'm not going to be walking outside. I got a car. But like what if something got for y'all? What if something was to happen? Like I cannot stand in the cold with this jacket. Hi. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Yo, what should I do today? Like, I want to do something for myself, but like, I think this is something for myself. Like, get my cousin is something for myself. I just like don't want to spend a lot of money um, right now because I know um, moving into my new apartment is gonna be very expensive. I gotta pay the moving company. I can't really afford to just be buying random shit. So, I want to buy a house. Really, like, not soon, but I. Well, actually, maybe soon. But, like, I always think, like, what if I meet somebody and, like, we want to buy a house together? Do I I don't want to go through hell, the hell of having to um, sell my house and, like, do all this shit. But, like, I shouldn't live my life thinking, oh, what if I meet someone? Like, that's weird. What if I meet someone? Like, fuck them. I thought I did meet somebody. He turned out to be a freaking psychopath. I'm like, did that man even really love me? Like, he looked me out, and then in my eyes, he always tell me how much he loved me. And it looked like he was telling the truth. Like, he was just always like, oh my God, I'm so in love with you. Like, he, all, he was so obsessed with me. I never had a man so in love with me. Like, well, it seemed like they were so in love with me. But then I'm like, how could he be so in love with me, but like, the worst to me? Like, I've, like, all the boyfriends I had in my life, and I only had like one. No, I had a few. I had like two. And they were never mean to me. I've never, like, had, like, a boyfriend just, like, be mean to me. But then it was like this one was so mean to me at times but like he loved me like i thought he loved me the most but like i don't understand like some people are just like have like mental like mental disorders like i don't understand that like how could you be mean to the person you love like i just don't get it and like not even just doing arguments like he would just say nasty shit i'm just like why would you say something like that mm. Mm -hmm. y'all it's so good i knew something weird when we was planning um to go to dubai with my friends um uh, Monty and her boyfriend and everybody was like trying to figure out how they were gonna pay like should we do payment plan should we pay it full da -da -da -da. and this man looked at me and asked me can i pay for his half of the um trip until he get paid and i'm like no because i already know how this is gonna go he's not gonna give me the money we're gonna break up or something um, and i'm not gonna get my money back or he just gonna keep trying to get out of it i'm like no nah, like th that draws a line like i'll like you can borrow some money for a day like even then it's like whatever you need the money for like you shouldn't be doing it like if you need to borrow money for a vacation i just feel like we shouldn't be on a vacation like because i'd rather go on a vacation if i can afford the vacation like i don't want to be miserable on a vacation and i don't want you to be miserable on a vacation so i'm like why would you even want to borrow money for a vacation like that like i can see you borrow money for rent or like borrow money for like something like that like oh my dog got sick i need some vet like money or something like that but like not like oh i can't afford to go to dubai can i borrow some money until i get like no no mm -mm. and i was like no 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 i'm like i've realized once i started saying no to shit was when he kind of started like acting kind of distant like once i started calling him out on his bullshit was when he started acting distant he probably was talking he was definitely talking to other people like um he will always accuse me of like cheating. Like he will always accuse me of being like out here, and I'm just like I never had cheated on this man ever. I'm not a cheater. I never cheated on anyone. And I was just like, it hurts for him to always like accuse me and shit. 
But then, like, I found like, then he cheated. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like, how you cheat on me? Like, I, like, yo, I don't think y'all understand how, like, loyal I am and, like, how much of a good person I am. And, like, how much I, I give. I give, I give, I give, I give. And I don't even expect anything in return. It's like, how could you cheat on me? Like, how could you possibly fathom to say, oh, basically, fuck you. I'm going to go make have relations with somebody else and behind your back. Like, what? Breathed the f out of my nails. We about to hang out later. So I came to the warehouse to package order. She had something to do. She had to get a wax done and she has another client. And then we're gonna have dinner together and then watch a movie or something. But in the meantime, 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 meantime. I'ma drop off orders and then package. I'm thinking about doing a package and ASMR for y'all. Should I do ASMR or should I talk to y'all? I'm gonna do ASMR because it was a fly. Um, my short, y'all know YouTube shorts, how YouTube wanna be TikTok so bad. They made YouTube shorts and I did an ASMR. It got like 30, 300,000 views. Everyone was like, yo, do more, do more. So why don't I just do it in my video? So yeah, oh my. So I literally had eight of these bags. No, like eight of these bags, y'all. So I got this one here. I got some more orders right here. And then I got some more over here. So what I'm gonna do is take them with this cart to my car and then drop them off at the post office i began some type of anxiety at the post office because they be looking at me like i'm crazy like i mean it's a long day they're probably tired and they probably irritated you know they be having to go through a lot of shit like the post office people be treating them like shit not even gonna lie like i remember last time i was there this is black guy who works up front let me hurry up because i'm about to it's about to close in like 30 minutes but there's this guy who works up front he's so nice i forget his name but he has these like long dreads and i was waiting in line and like you know post office is always super understaffed because they're not funded by the government they're like self-funded and like they just can't afford a lot of shit right now. Like, remember how they were going through the whole thing? Like, oh, save the post office. They're about to close. Buy stamps. All this shit. They're just, they're broke. And so, it was like 12 people in line. I was like second in line. And there was like this other white guy who was like next to me with his like five-year-old. So, finally, I got called up. I was working with the guy like trying to print out my labels. Not, not print out labels, but like weigh my packages. And like, get, it was a lot of shit to do. So, I was standing there for like a calm five minutes. All of a sudden, the white guy was like, can you hurry the fuck up? Hurry the up what did i tell you the other day what did i tell you the other day he said excuse me he said i came the other day and cursed you the f out and i told you to hurry up and now i'm here again and you're not hurrying the fuck up what's, what's wrong with you you what you got a problem i'm like yo what there's like 12 people in line like you're literally a nobody you're a nobody no one cares about you you're getting along like everybody else and i'm like yo my thing is that these parents are such a bad example like not everyone should be a parent how do you expect your son he had like a five-year-old son next to him maybe like four no nah, i was like a calm three four years old maybe like four it was getting toddler and i was like look at how his dad's acting his son's gonna think that behavior is okay and probably start acting like that unless the mom be telling him like don't act like your dad but like i'm sure he probably thinks hey this behavior is normal because like this man i look up to is talking to this guy like that so probably like that's normal like i was just sitting there like i'll never forget that because i was like yo i was gonna say something like i recorded oh i recorded some of it on my phone i'm gonna see if i can find the footage but it was crazy and i didn't even get the good part because like i took my phone out too late but like it was just so weird he was arguing like i thought he was gonna start shooting like i got really scared it was giving like it was giving mass murderer like it was giving very much like the type of white guy who opens fires in like a walmart that's what they gave and i'm, like, I'm not feeling it i don't want to mess up my nail <laughs> Cause they're so sharp and with stiletto. Okay, y'all can see me, it's so dark. With stiletto, it be chipping off the top. Ugh. Oh my goodness, y'all. Woo! Oh my God. I'm gonna need me like a little black coat or something because this green don't match with everything. Surprisingly, it matches with a lot though. Not even gonna lie. This green coat has been matching with a lot of shit in my life and I'm shocked, but I would love like a little brown, brown, brown. A little black in her face or something. Where's my chapstick? Because my lips are dry as shit. And I'm thirsty. That's the worst. Thirsty and lips are chapped. Oh my god. 
Yo, I'm thinking about going downtown today and getting a necklace made. Maybe I'll do that. Ooh, we y'all let's go downtown because I really want to go to Jurors Row. Where? In Philly, it's like an area that like has mad like jurors and jewelry, jewelry. Y'all, I can't say jury for shit. Like I say jury. And I got made fun of for that because I'm like jury, jury, jury. But like it's jewelry, but it's so hard for me to say jewelry, jewelry's row, jewelry's row, girl. And I'm gonna get a necklace made because I've been wanting a necklace made. And let's see if the place is open right now. I just found a place online. They close at six. It is four thirty. I'm already down here, so I might as well get a necklace made. Like I've been saying, I really wanted to spend some money on a necklace because like I don't have anything real gold. I'm going to call them and see what they say. My phone about to check. Jewelry, can I help you? Hi, um, what's your turnaround time for gold nameplate, like, jewelry, name jewelry? Once you pay me, you get it in three days. Okay, um, can I come in today? Like, around five? Or is it too late? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're going to go. We're going to go get some jewelry. Oh, my goodness. If you got something on the phone, like, I can make it like the same as what you have on the phone, and I, mean, I can go both. Hmm? I can do it if you get something on the phone, design, you can make it like the same. Oh, really? You can replicate it? Okay. Absolutely. Because there is like some. Absolutely. I like this style. It's like it has like a back to it, and then so it's like. Okay, so that's double plate. That's a bit, that's a bit more expensive. How you got much plate would you in the back say? Of it. Something like this would be 550. 550? Compared to that, it would be 389. I like, with the, a chain. I like the double pleated. Yeah, I, whatever. You know. Do you have uh, your cardio rings? Okay. Cardio rings? Yeah, cardio. Cardio. You go shut you. Why am I shut you? Yeah, I like this. Yeah, what's up? Cardio rings. Good. Yeah. This is single plate. No, no, so do I get to like choose the font? Like, how do I choose the font? You can go to font.com. Oh, okay. I know what. You okay, want. I know what you mean. So like how much would I put down first today? Like the whole oh okay. the and then come back and pay the rest. Yeah. What's the pricing of this? I really like that. You want exactly the same as that one? That would be eight ninety nine. Never mind. I like the one that's like on the middle necklace here. That's what give you. Oh, okay. That one. Oh, okay. I'm also <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> um, huh? oh. how much people usually put down? Some people have put half, some people it's up to you. I don't know half. 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 Yo, I'm at the warehouse again. Me and my friends, like literally, I went to um Chick-fil-A and it was right next to my friend Jobs. So I'm like, yo, Zah, where you at? She was like, oh, I'm literally like five minutes from my job. I just left work. I was like, spin the block. And then we had dinner together, and she downstairs me on. We both had the shit. I think that Chick Fil A did us north, like did us north, like. So we both did shit. I'm gonna go downstairs, and I'm gonna package orders. I might ask her to try on this one set for me because her body looks so good in my clothes, and I might use her as a model. I'm gonna ask her if she, if she feel like doing it. But I hope she do, cause I love when I put on um her black child. We looking good as shit on her. And I'm gonna give her a set too, but let me go right downstairs because she probably is sitting there waiting for me to unlock the warehouse because, yeah. I'm about to go back to my friend Brie house. I just packaged oil at the warehouse and I literally was just at Brie's house. Like y'all know Brie just did my nails and we were just chilling. And then I, she was like, you wanna come back for a movie night or something? And I'm like, yeah. So I was like, should I bring anything? She's like, wine, debit. She loves some wine. Like last time she came to my house, I was like, she was like, you want something from the liquor store? I'm like, give me some wine. 
She came over with two bottles of wine. I'm like, I didn't ask for two bottles. She was like, oh, one for me, one for you. I'm like, yo, I've never heard that before. But this, y'all, this wine, oh my god. I hate wine, but y'all, this not wine. This juice. We about to be out, yo. This day has been fun. Got my nails done, hung with my friend, hung with my other friend. About to go back with my other friend. Like, yo, yeah. This is good for me. This is, y'all know this is good for me. Like, this is like my one day where I'm like actually happy. Like, and it starts now. Like, I'm about to be happy every day. Like, I feel good. Like, okay. Bree! <laughs> What are we eating? What are we eating? I don't know. I'm hungry. You want to go like out, out? That would be spontaneous, right? Let's go out. Let's go out, out. What's today? I'm just 10, 13. Well, I mean, what's what? What? Today Tuesday. What's open on Tuesday at 10, 13? Taco Bell. No. Taco who? Like taco places that have margaritas. You wanna go? Only if you with it. Yes, I'm hungry. So you wanna eat? Here, I wanna right? eat. I'm not driving though. Who driving? You. <laughs> Me and Bree move into the same area. She just moved from where she moved from, and I'm moving on Friday. And we're literally living like 10 minutes apart. And we're gonna try to find tacos because we're hungry. And I want some real food. I'm tired of Wawa. Like, I'm so tired of eating Wawa, McDonald's, Taco Bell. And we're so sick because, look, where's the wine? Oh, she put it in the fridge. The wine that I bought is, like, you got to open with the um, corkscrew. And, like, I thought that, I didn't even know they had wines you could open just regular. She don't have a corkscrew, so we're not going to get our wine. And I told her, I was, like, knock on one of your neighbor's doors. And she knocked on the door, and we didn't realize it's like 11 o'clock at night. And we're like, oh my god, like that was so rude. But now she got me playing GCA. Ugh, I love this game so bad. Bree, this place looks so good. What's that, Yeah, it's called Sancho Pistola. They cool, that's two. They got margaritas? Probably. They got some tempura shrimp tacos, regular shrimp, like grilled shrimp tacos, mahi, what's that? I don't know. Mahi tacos. They got bur oh, you don't eat burgers or wings. Girl. They got soup, salad. Let's go. Come on. We huh? 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 Like, I'm much rather Can we do rock, paper, scissors? No, hold on, because I really don't like to get. No redemption. Three, best two out of three? Yeah. Are you a teeter? No. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Why are you taking a break? Come on, let's get this over. Right, don't poke your eye. Oh my God, give me a Wait, you didn't even <laughs> count. You're not counting. Like, I'm supposed to know, like. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Fuck. Okay. No, you have one more. You have one more. All right. Bro, this, this is not fair. Oh, what? I'm not doing it. <laughs> you literally said, bro, you, what? you said that we could get Mexican. I feel like a small uh, bread. On a website, they obviously they don't have no drinks. Bro, right? really? yes, they do. There's no way. Just because they don't have a site, don't mean, don't mean they don't have drinks. But if they drink, it's there. It's not going to be good drinks. If they don't have a website, that's a problem. <laughs> So you don't? How do I know what I want? How do I know what you offer? So we're not going because there's no website. There's a menu online. There's a menu. It gotta be something else. It gotta be something else. Bree, what? Are you trying to duck somebody? Cause like at this point, this sounds crazy. What the fuck was the place called? Uh, Sancho Pistola. And is that restaurant? Truck. I'm not trying to go to no truck. Why are you so mad about the truck? Why would I go to a truck? What is a truck gonna do? A food truck? What's the difference? No, I need a restaurant. I need to sit down. I'm not standing up. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> you can't see this without this? No. Do you want to see what we look like without that? Look. Look at us. Look what you did. 
But look, it still is work. So look. I just gotta focus. <laughs> It's the next day. I went home and packed for like five hours yesterday, y'all. Packing is not going nowhere. Like, it looks like I'm not making any progress. Like, I'm packing for hours, but it's not like progressing. Like, it's just like I keep stacking more boxes on boxes on boxes. But like, if you look in the like the room, you can't tell I pack. Like, it's so stressful. And I only have two more days. It's Thursday. It's Wednesday today, so I have Thursday and Friday left. I'm stressed. But that being said, I had just went to Wawa and got me um a little um something to eat. I got a bacon croissant or some shit. It's good as hell. The double bacon, cause you know they be a little sparse with the bacon on the regular bacon one. So I got double bacon, and then I got me my infamous apple juice, the best apple juice in the world. But that being said, I just pulled up to my last appointment with Lizzie, so I'm about to get out the car. It's 11:28, and my appointment's at 11:30. You know I'm always on time. Like when it comes to an appointment, I'm always on tizzy time. Like I can't be late, cause I don't play that late fee shit. Oh, nope. Do y'all know why Philly got the best cheesesteaks? You wanna know why? It's all in the what? All in the roll. Like, the meat never matter. It's the roll. It's the roll. Like, y'all always wonder why Philly got the best, why no one can do it like us. It's Omaroso rolls. That's why. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I've been running around all day trying to find a freaking black bodysuit. Like, long sleeve up here, maybe like a crew neck type situation or a little um turtleneck and long pants. Tight, y'all. I went to Aerie. I went to Urban. I went to Windsor. I went to Akira. I went to Target. I went to um, Marshalls. I went to Macy's. But no one, there's no one. No one has a, just a plain black long sleeve, long pink bodysuit. It was either a bodysuit with no legs and the long sleeves, or no sleeves, long legs, or no top and bottoms, but no or no bottoms but top. Like, but I had went to Target to find me one, and I still didn't find one. But I walked out with a pizza. <laughs> I'm trying to eat like oh my god like y'all 15 pounds like me y'all already know I'm small Losing 15 pounds is not normal at all. I was literally 130 like last year and now I'm 115 like that doesn't make any sense And like I wouldn't say I'm not hungry. I'm forcing myself to eat but like I'm kind of hungry so I bought some food like so now whenever I'm like a little hungry I'm gonna eat because I can't afford them to keep doing with y'all. Oh shit. I just got a doctor's appointment. Wait, what time is it? How far is it from here? Hold on y'all. I got some time but y'all i love me some what who pizza hut peace oh my god like i always get my little personal pan from target mm. Mm -hmm. i'm gonna stay up when i got from the store i got 10 minutes to talk to y'all before my doctor come in for my neck because my neck has been like or so much pain like literally i cannot swallow i can't touch it without it being painful 
but let me show y'all. Okay, so first I went to the garage. I know I was only looking for a bodysuit, but I walked up with everything but, but that's fine. I deserve it. So I got these gray, are they gray? They're like um, Nardo blue. Not everybody car now like this color. Like it's not even, it's not no silver no more. It's like people love getting this like dolphin type color. But it looks like this. They're just like, oh, are they boot cut? No, I thought they were boot cut. They um, scrunch at the bottoms and they just like sweatpants. And they had this matching top I thought was so cute. I opened it, it had no sleeves. Like it was like a hoodie with no sleeves. I'm like, yo, it's giving white boy red neck. Like I'm like, no. Nah. I got me a pair of plain ass sweatpants from Garage. I got the same color already, like the same color sweatpants. They all beaded beaded up, so I got me a new pair. They wasn't from Garage. The one I had for, was from Forever 21, but Forever 21 was horrible. Repeat after me, horrible. Like, all right. Then I went to Akira, and this girl Hadia. Oh my god, she watched me. She said, "Oh my god, Gabby." And I said, "Hey, girl." She helped me find an outfit for this date I'm going on. So this the um top. And like I got these bubble arms, but my plan was that if I found a black bodysuit, I would wear this with the bodysuit, like bodysuit underneath. Oh, this would look cute, like a gray bodysuit, y'all, with like some gray Uggs. But my doctor's appointment is at six, y'all, six fifteen. It is, it is currently five thirty-seven. And then I'm my thing that I told him one of me. He making fun of me. This girl is a bum to me. Like that boy is a cap. What's I never heard someone say he a cap. I've never heard that before. But that's cute. That boy's a cap. Saying he homeboy, I know he at. Like, but he blowing her back. Like, aren't you mad about that? She's like, think about me because you know that's fat. Damn, but like, okay, like, he's still blowing her back. But I'll be pissed. Like, I'll be like, well, like, he's blowing her back. Like, I wouldn't even say keep thinking about me. Like, I'm still pissed blowing her back. Like, <laughs> don't blow her back thinking about me because you know that's fat. Like, how about blow my back because my stuff fat? Like, don't blow her back thinking because, think about me because you know that it's fat. Like, no, blow my back. Think about how my shit fat dim. Y'all, so I just went to the doctor and told her everything that happened. And she said I have to go tomorrow to get a CT scan. What is that? Don't ask. I don't fucking know. I know CAT scans and MRI. I've never heard of CT scan, but she was just saying that she gotta make sure there's no like bruising inside my throat because it shouldn't have been hurting this bad for two whole weeks. Like it literally feels like when I go like this, y'all, it's in so much pain. And then when I like touch the middle part, it hurts, and when I swallow, it hurts so bad. But I'm about to <laughs> I'm about to give the ferret his medicine because the ferret has been like itching a lot lately. And he's been itching for like a calm like month, really bad. So I went to the vet and they told me to give him some medicine. And I'm like, yo, like if y'all know the favorite, he gets ADHD. Like he do not stop moving, he do not stop running around, trying to bite me, trying to jump around and shit. And I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna administer this uh medicine because this man won't stop moving. And they was like, oh, just grab him by his neck like this. And I'm like, yo, they picked him up and he was like this, y'all. And I'm like, yo, is that safe? They're like, yeah, like that's how animals get picked up by their moms and shit, and it makes them stand still. So, yo, it's scary as shit. But I'm gonna have to show y'all how he look when I'm giving his medicine, yo. It's scary. All right, so this is the favorite, y'all. If I haven't ever seen this man before, but he a favorite. The favorite, D A F F E. Wait, D A F E R R I D. The favorite. He already liked the way the medicine tastes, look, y'all. But look, he won't let me like actually put it in his mouth. So I'm gonna show y'all. It's so. scary. Here we look, watch this. Come here in the ferret. Wait, it's behind his neck. Look. And he just stays still, like he looked like he did. Y'all look. Sorry the ferret, I know you don't like this position. Ugh, why is it not coming out? Open up. There we go. I feel so bad. <laughs> My little baby. It's okay to fair. I'm sorry. Look, he's shaking. Mm, he don't like when I do that. <laughs> okay. Down. So I only got two more days, technically one and a half more days to move, y'all. Um, and it's not looking too good. So what I'm going <laughs> to look at the fairy. What I'm going to attempt to do right now is knock out this whole kitchen area within the next hour. And then move to the bedroom. Maybe the, the bathroom. Y'all, we're going to take it, we're going to take it step by step. So let's start with this area and start cleaning the kitchen. All this, most of the stuff is going, like all the plates are out the cabinet. See, look. Oh. Just kidding. Like, there's still shit in there. But it's just like a bunch of shit everywhere else. Like, 
that's just it's random shit that I don't know what to do with. I'ma honestly have to start throwing shit out. Once it gets down to the shit you don't know what to do with, most likely you gotta throw it out because it's just like if you don't know what to do with it, it's obviously not that important. You know what I'm saying? So I'ma just start throwing shit out. Like it's not that deep. I can always buy new shit. I probably won't remember it by tomorrow. So let's get started. Oh, this is stressful. This move is crazy. I was just downstairs at my apartment using a computer because I don't got a printer in my apartment, but I do downstairs. So I usually go downstairs and use their shit. And I just have bought my renter's insurance. When you move into an apartment, you have to buy something called renter's insurance in case it like set, gets set on fire. It's like a robbery. Something go on and your shit gets stolen or damaged. You got to get renter's insurance. And then also, I went and what did I just do? Register my car for the um, garage. So, I'm living in the city. So, basic. So what that means is there's no parking. So, I had to pay for a garage. It was like $300 a month. Very expensive. Like $300 a month. It was $325 a month. Yeah, it's crazy. But um I just have uploaded my register. Stop the fair, leave me alone. I just uploaded my registration. Look at him. Oh my god, where is he? Where he go? There he go, look. Stop! Uh -uh. stop get Stop the ferry. Stop the ferry. He likes to bite my feet. I don't like that. Stop the ferry. Stop. Like I was saying, I just uploaded all my documents to my little um portal for my new apartment. Um, my car insurance, my um, registration, shit like that. Got everything set up just now. I'm just a little stressed because I totally forgot that when you get Wi-Fi like wired to your apartment, you can't just unplug it and move it to the next apartment. You got to get it installed. I totally forgot to call. Verizon and tell them that I'm moving and come out the day I move in because I'm gonna have no Wi Fi for a few days because you know how they love to be booked up um, for a little bit. Like, if you want Wi Fi tomorrow, they're not gonna get there till like three to four business days after. Like, they're never available on the day you actually want them to come. So, since I was so late booking them, they won't be here till like next week. So, I'm gonna have no Wi Fi in my crib for a whole couple days. That's so sick. Stop. Okay, I have to start packing seriously because I only got one and a half days, and that's not acceptable. Say bye to Farron. Say bye. People text me that I don't really want to talk to like and I don't respond like I I'll hold the conversation to be polite but then I'll like stop responding and then they'll be like hello like leave me alone like hello one thing you will never catch me doing is saying hello unless like it's my mom or something like I would never like be that down bad like I would never do that but it's the next morning y'all and I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I have one more freaking day to pack. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I do not know what I'm going to do. Like, it's barely... Why is this not coming out? I'm packed, but it's not giving, oh, we're going to get your stuff out of here tomorrow. Like, it's not giving that. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Thank God that my apartment is really... I'm not really... Like, my apartment, my moving date is for the 10th, which is tomorrow for my new apartment. But for this apartment, I technically don't have to get out until the 13th. So, that makes it much easier on me. So, I don't really have to get everything out by tomorrow, actually. So, I can still technically be packing. But, like, I want to have, like, mo like, a majority of my stuff packed because I'm paying the movers to move shit. So, it's kind of like, I might as well take advantage of that. But, right now, I'm taking my hair out because I have my hair appointment at 1. And it is 11.14. I might not get... Oopsie. That shit want me to wake up so bad. I might not be able to take a shower. Ah, ah. Oh my god, yo. I know I'm not the only one. Like, when I'm in a rush and I wake up late, like, I'm like, fuck. It is a hair appointment, though. Like, who's smelling me for real? Like, who's checking to see if I smell good? Nobody. So, I don't really care. But, I love these braids. I was thinking about making them my new 
my new signature style like i really fuck with the braids heavy but i just love this style like, and i love when it gets messy like when the braids start to get messy like this it's so cute i'm getting the wig done because honestly it was supposed to be for valentine's day i was supposed to get me like a little curly um short wig but since i'm not well actually i'm doing valentine's day and we're, i'm gonna vlog it next week for y'all but um I have moved my hair for enough. I'm like, there's no reason for me to really wait until closer to the Valentine's Day since I want my hair done right now. And plus, I'm going on a date on Saturday, so my hair will be done for that. I didn't really want the braids for the fit that I'll be wearing. Usually, I wash my hair for my appointments, but I ended up um, booking a wash because, like, my the move, like, yo, my bathroom is so empty. I'm like, yo, I'm not trying to wash my hair and dirty it up and shit. So I'd rather just pay extra for an actual wash. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, y'all. I might just turn on Sex in the City real quick while I do my hair. And I will see y'all. When I see y'all, get on my face. Please get on my face. Uh, look how my hair is growing. Y'all remember my freaking hair journey? Like how short it was? Like, this is so crazy. And I haven't even been doing much to it. Like, I literally have been just washing it, putting a deep conditioner in there. Well, deep conditioner wash. And deep condition only for like 10 minutes. I will use like the Shea Moisture. What was it called, y'all? Oh, my God. I feel like it was the African Black Soap one. No, maybe. And then I just used the African Black Soap Shampoo. I used the African Black Soap Conditioner. Or actually, no, I use Garnier. I use the little white girl products. I like Garnier. It made my hair grow. And then for after, I would just leave. The, I would just use the, um, the Carol's Daughter Leave-In Spray. And that's literally all I did, y'all. Look. Oh my god. Like, okay, so the style, everyone was like, how's this style work? Like, how did she do it? She just glues tracks to my literal scalp with like a very mild glue because it just it comes out so easy. Like no hairs on it or nothing. It just comes out really easy. But she glues tracks onto my scalp and then braids it. So the tracks are hidden underneath the braids, but there's tracks in there. Um, the one girl I went to to get that style done, she did such a bad job. Like, the glue was way too strong. And I had to literally sit for five hours with, like, all this shit in my hair. My old style had to do it to let the glue dissolve. But, like, with this one, you could just pull it out and it just comes out real easy. Like, but yeah, that girl had me fucked up. All my hair was coming out with it. I was like, yo. y'all so it's officially move out day I, oh my god my neck hurts so bad i packed the rest of my apartment kind of i'm gonna show y'all the apartment and show y'all what i did last night but i don't have everything packed which i'm kind of stressed about but majority of shit is packed all the important shit is packed the movers are supposed to be here within the next hour so i'm gonna save that for the next vlog we're gonna do like a moving in the unsettled in type vlog situation but um yeah let me show y'all the apartment so this is the apartment look all the box i've been doing laundry all night y'all i had like literally 12 loads of laundry to do this is the um kitchen and then the bathroom and then my office area and eh, i didn't really get to that but um i might gotta throw these out the desk and then this cubicle over here but other than that that is it and then my bedroom right here there's someone interested in buying my bed hopefully they come and get it today because i cannot with this bed so that's the end of my vlog y'all um i'm gonna come back literally in five minutes and start my next vlog because it's the next week um and today's moving day so i know y'all want to see that and shit so thank you for watching make sure you like subscribe and comment and i will see you guys in my next video which is the moving and i'm excited about that there's a lot going on this week. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and do all that. Follow me on Instagram, local black child, and I will see you later.
Sweet.